blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Y'all know what I'm talking about this morning. I got a made up mind. I'm not talking about being on the majority. I'm not talking about being in the large group. But I'm talking about being biblical and in tune with God's way of thinking. I'm going to keep living for Christ. I'm going to keep living for Christ. I'm going to keep looking unto Jesus and putting my faith in Him. And a lot of this other stuff, I can just kick to the curb because it'll work out. It'll work out. Amen. Where did the darkness go? It just went when the light came in. I'm not going to worry about where the darkness went. I'm going to open myself up to receive the light. I'm going to walk in His light. And that's what I'm talking about this morning. That we look in the right direction. Amen. If you would stay in this morning, and we're going to have a word of prayer. This is a personal decision. When I say personal, I mean it's something that we decide for ourselves. It's a choice that we make ourselves. And I would encourage you here this morning as we pray that you choose Christ. Salvation is not a complicated thing. You say, Jesus, I choose you. Jesus, I accept you. Jesus, forgive me. Save my soul from hell. And he'll do that. He'll do that. He's well able. He's the authority. He's the power. As we pray today, I say just to embrace him. Choose him. Dig a little deeper. Get rooted a little deeper. Your faith rooted a little deeper in Him. Church, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you right now as a church family. And we thank you so much for the truth that is found in your word. I rebuke the forces of hell that would confuse, that would oppose, that would distract. I bind them in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I'm asking you right now that you would move upon each one of us individually at this moment, in this time. And Lord, that you would help us to see what it is we're looking at. Lord, that you would help us to see we need to be looking at you. We need to be trusting in you. Lord, I ask right now that you would help us to put our past behind us, to put any failures uh, to the side, that we would cast all our cares upon you. And Lord, knowing that you're well able, knowing that you have provided for us. I just pray that we would reach out right now and receive the peace of God that you have to offer us. Lord, I ask you to cleanse me from my sin. I ask you to cover me fresh with the precious blood of Calvary. Lord, I pray that all these here would pray that same prayer, Lord. Uh, I just want to refresh my relationship with you. And Lord, that's what this time's about. I pray that you strengthen us, Lord. I pray that you would refresh us. I ask that you would fill us with the uh, mighty power of the Holy Ghost so that we can be enabled to do what you've called us to do. Lord, I thank you for the good news of the gospel. And I thank you that it's not a many choice decision, but that it's all about you. I thank you for that. I thank you for making that so clear. And I pray that you would just anoint this church family Bless this church family that you would meet every need that's represented here this morning and that you would bind us together in love and unity. And Lord, I pray that Holy Ghost revival would sweep over us like never before. In Jesus' precious name, I pray and ask these things. And the church said, Amen. Amen. Hug somebody's neck, tell them you love them.